Dewsbury TV. Local Music Mag. So this is the Local Music Mag. It is music written and performed by local artists for everyone. This is the show that you want to watch if you have any interest in music at all. So in the studio with us today we have John Hetherington who is a presenter on Click Eating Online Radio, a musician and the organiser of Acoustic Days. Hi John. Hello. Um, tell me about Acoustic Days, what is the concept behind it? Uh, right, okay, where do I start? Um, I used to go drinking in Swan in Liversidge. <laughs> and All good stories start in a pub. They do, <laughs> most of mine do usually. Um, but my friends were landlady and landlord at that time. And they had quiet days on a Sunday. And it just started off with her sort of going, on, can't you bring, bring a few of your mates down and do a few acoustic stuff on Sunday? So I went, right, OK, yeah. And it took me about three months to do it because I'm that one, well, I was that unorganised anyway. Um, and we did one and it was sort of quiet because nobody knew about it. And then kept doing it every month after that and it's just sort of taking itself on and I do it properly now. So it, it just started off as bringing a few friends down to do a few tracks. Right, and is it... Just your band that you're in, or is it lots of different bands? It's lots of different artists. Um, it did start off because I was in an acoustic covers band at the time. Planet B. Planet B, yeah. Um, and it was us and a couple of other artists that we knew. And just from doing it, I've met more artists, and more artists have come to me to say do they want to play or whatever. So I usually have about six or seven artists every session now. And you do it once a month? It's once a month in various different venues, so now it's going on. I've got uh, one, two, three regular Sunday ones a month, and I've just started, well, I'm just going to be starting, sorry, on 9th of January, um, a regular weekly one in Wakefield as well. Right, OK, so which venues are you at in the next...? Uh, the next one I'm doing um, is going to be uh, Thursday the 9th of January at Admiral Duncan. That'll be the first one of a weekly... And that's Somewhere. in Wakefield? That's in Wakefield, yeah. Right up. Uh, Thorns Lane, I think it's called. Where and it is. if there are any local bands who want to get involved with this, how do they get in, t in touch with you to do so? Uh, well, I've got a Facebook page, which is Acoustic Days, and Days is spelt D-A-Z-E. Um, I've got a website that I've just started running as well, which is Acoustic Days, spelt the same, .co.uk. Right. And there's all the information on there about past events, future events, artists that are on there, and how artists and venue owners can get in touch if they want to either play or get one on. Okay. So we can find you at the Swan still? No, I don't do it at Swan anymore. <gasps> oh. Uh, that's where it started, um, and they left. Uh, they stopped running the pub, so it shut down for a bit, so I started doing it at the tap rooms in Batley. Right. Which is the first Sunday of every month. The first Sunday of every month at the tap rooms in Batley. That's right. And the last Sunday of the month is at Six Lane Ends Club, which I think is called The Phoenix now. Oh, The Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix Nights. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix Nights. Now that was a programme. <laughs> <laughs> now then, you are in two bands. I am, yes. Tell me a little bit about those. Okay, so we've got Fat Henry, which is Dewsbury based. Uh, those Dewsbury guys, based? They've, they've been going for about five years, I think, now. Um, I joined them. I think it's probably two years ago, and I started just singing with them. Um, not usually my sort of style of band to play in. Right. Um, but they approached me, like, like I say, about two years ago, and I thought, you know what, I'll do it. I'm out of my comfort zone, but I'll, I'll try it. I'll give it a go, see if I can do it, and I'm still with them, so it must be going all right. <laughs> uh, but that's sort of heavier sort of, it comes from punk, but there's a lot of sort of slower music brought into it, but played in a punk style, if that makes sense. I think you've just got to listen and find um, out. Go, go see them and find out. Yeah, come see us and find out. <laughs> um, and my other band is uh, Eternal Teenage Syndrome, 
Which um, is in the charts all the time with Click Eating Online Radio. It is, funnily enough. It might, might help that I'm in band like. <laughs> <laughs> um, Possibly. <laughs> that's all uh, indie and rock sort of music. Um, both bands, it's, we write all our own stuff, we don't do covers. Right, okay. And as a musician, mm. what is it that music means to you? Uh, that's a right question. I'm, um, I'm good for right questions. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, well, it's, it's my passion. It's, it's what I enjoy doing most. And if, if I didn't have that, if I didn't have any music to do, I'd be the most miserable person on the planet. I've done it before when I've gone like a month without music and I'm just such a miserable person. <laughs> I bet Zara likes you lots then, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Move out! <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's a passion. And since doing Acoustic Days and since doing the radio show, um, I've met a lot more bands that need to get out there as well. So now I've got to a position where we're able to play and we're able to get as stuff played. I want to get everybody else in on the same same level and acoustic days is a really good platform for that to happen it's great for people who've either never played before or they've played for years it's for anyone it's for anybody and everybody so there's yeah. a bit of advice for anybody musicians get down to acoustic days go check it out because it's a really good platform for you to find out how to get involved i first met ruby mcintosh at the hebden bridge burlesque festival opening night where she was playing um a segment there and she was just fantastic <laughs> honestly she's gorgeous and she's so talented that's just my humble opinion and she's, you're laughing she's i just like your enthusiasm for it that's all she was fab honestly yeah. she's, she made me um, want to dance i remember the first time wayne played some music from click eating online radio and she's the music and the sound is just so different to anything else we have on radio it's the right sort of 50s sort of feel to it isn't it yep. 50s and it, do what thing. Yeah, and it fits the burlesque thing. Yeah, yeah. So well, it's just she looks so slick and fifties style herself. Yeah, she's like a fifties belle, isn't she? She is. Yeah. And she's just beautiful. But then she can play guitar and sing. <laughs> I don't like her at all. <laughs> no, I'm just really jealous because she's just so great. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry Pie is is her favourite song. Is it? Yeah, it's her most favourite one, and I I have to say I really like it. My favourite is Lady Killer. Lady Killer. Mm. It is a good album, though. <laughs> she is damn good. She's very good. We're about to play it, Cherry Pie because it's Ruby's favourite and mine. Sorry, John. That's all right. I'll let you off.
Next up is a chap called Simon Walker. He's a solo artist who I've spoken to on Facebook and he's coming in to see us on the 14th of January. I'm really excited because he seems like such a nice person. What can you tell me about him, John? He's such a nice person. <laughs> what can we say? Um, no, he's, 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 he's good. He, he used to be in a band, I think, um, and then left the band and now he started doing his own stuff. We had him in to do a live session and, yeah, just a really nice guy. Really easy to talk to. Uh, good music as well. That's it. And this is Hold On. It's been weeks and I'm still hurt. I'm telling you the same thing you've already heard Or maybe we'll fix this, what's broken in time Or maybe you'll move on, get me out of your Still try. 
we had Jade Helliwell in for an interview, hence the completely different setting and a Christmas tree. She gave a damn fine interview and sang two really rather fabulous songs. So I'd like to introduce Jade Helliwell. Dewsbury TV, Local Music Mag. Tonight on Local Music Mag we have Jade Helliwell. Jade, you've been a really busy woman. You've been gigging lots this year and you've booked right through until September next year. Yeah. So what's coming up? Where, where are we going? Um, the main thing I'm focusing on at the minute is getting the album done. So um, we've got some time in the studio in a few, well, about a week away. Wow. Uh, so we're going to start finishing the album off. So hopefully that'll be done at the beginning of next year. And then from there we'll focus on trying to get some radio airplay, um, carrying on gigging as much as possible and hopefully get um, some more festival slots for next year. Festival slots? What kind of festivals? Um, like this year I've managed to get a slot at Bingley oh, and wow. Goldtrez so I mean it'd be great if I could get back into those two festivals as well this year but also trying um, some of the bigger stuff and Glastonbury runs a competition every year for um, unsigned artists so right. I'm going to like apply for that and other similar competitions that are run by a lot of festivals like oh, fantastic. on that scale. So. Will you be at the Crown of Lights? Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Uh, I was there this summer and it was really good. Uh, it just seems to get busier every year, so... Yes, it does. Be I've been down a few back. times. It's, mm. it's a good festival, I really enjoy it. Yeah, everyone seems to enjoy it, so yeah. it's good. And New Year's Eve, you are at the Battling Ash? Uh, Christmas Eve, I'm at Battling Ash. Oh! New Year's Eve, I'm at East Bailey Golf Club. Oh! Yeah, so, but Battling Ash is Christmas Eve. It should be really good. Uh, I've done it a few years ago. I did it Christmas Eve and it gets really busy and everyone's just in the Christmas mood so it's good to sing some Christmas songs, get people to join in. Excellent. So. Sounds fun. I might have to come yeah. down Christmas yes, Eve. Yes, come. <laughs> hey, me. So, how d oh, I'm sorry with the sauce. I know you don't like the sauce, Keith, but just tough. <laughs> how do you manage all the different elements of your life? Um, quite easy, really, because... My friends um, seem to come to a lot of my gigs and support me, so it's not really like I have to miss out on socialising with them to go play gigs because they come, so I get to do it all at one time. So, um, yeah, I get to balance everything quite well, mix my social life with my music as well, so it's good. And is this what you do full-time? Yeah, well, I study part-time at the Open University, but that's like distance learning, so you do it all at home anyway. Okay. But um, I quit my job in August to really try and make a go of my music career, so this is like my main focus now. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, explain to me urban life, country heart. Well, I love like country music, um, which is a bit strange for a girl from Batley to be into, so um, <laughs> go from quite a urban town like small industrial town so the um the idea of urban life country heart is me basically that i live quite an urban life but i'm really country at heart and it's country music that i love oh so. i kind of <laughs> like that it's it's a nice tagline though mm. and it fits it, it it suits you thank you yeah um and who keeps you grounded grounded um family and friends really um not really a braggy type of person but i think 
for wherever to get like that, they'd just be like, no, <laughs> stop. <laughs> be so, yourself. Yeah, <laughs> just family and friends. Yeah. Fantastic. It's nice, though, that you've got a support network there. Yeah. It's really important. And what do you have, well, do you have any words for inspired artists, people who want to do the same sort of thing as you? Um, gig, go out, play. I think um, the most important thing to do if you're, like, no matter how good you are or how much you love it, if you're not going to go out and play to an audience then you're never going to know what people think of your music or... So you definitely just go out and perform as much as you can in front of people. Do you recommend busking at all? Busking? Busking is something I've not done, but um, we've recently been talking about me getting a licence and going to do it. It just seems fun. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I suppose it's you can perform in front of a whole range of different people if you're out busking. You can. And particularly this time of year, because mm. everybody's out doing the Christmas shopping. Feeling a bit... Festive, give you some extra money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling generous around right now. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> and what if I said to you, X Factor? X Factor. I think it's one of those shows that everybody talks about. And when you sing, it's something that everyone asks you, like, why don't you go on X Factor stuff? And I did audition when I was younger, but I definitely changed um, my direction of music and... I started writing my own music and really got into the country like sort of thing. So for me, I wouldn't go for X Factor, but I do think they have some good artists come out of there. Like, as much as people don't really like it, I love One Direction. They obviously came from X Factor, Little Mix and Rebecca Ferguson. She's dead to me. Now. <laughs> dead. To You're me. not a One D fan. I have a daughter who's a One D fan. Huge. So it's all you hear. Oh, <laughs> I despair. I despair. I really do. <laughs> Audience. <laughs> she, that's it, Jade, we're done. I was really liking you. I think you should just go home right now. <laughs> what instruments do you play? Um, the guitar. I play the guitar. And I bought a piano to try and play, but I can only play a few chords at the moment. But hopefully I'll learn that soon, and then if you see me gigging... Maybe next year I'll have a piano on stage with me. Some right. sort. Do you but put many, many hours into your practice? Um, probably not as much as I said. My manager is probably going to be like, you know, you don't practice enough now. <laughs> Shaking his head. Yes. But, um, <laughs> at first I did a lot, but really frustrating because you can't make your hands make the shapes for the chords on the guitar at first, and that was really frustrating. So I used to practice more when I first started, but um, I should definitely practice more. Maybe that'll be my New Year's resolution. Put more Ooh. hours in. <laughs> you heard it here <laughs> first. <laughs> Made the promise New Year's now. resolution. <laughs> 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 right, Lady Jane, it is time to shamelessly plug yourself. Tell us about you. Tell us about what you do. Where we can find out more about you. What your album is, if you've got one already. Where we can go buy it. All that yeah. sort of thing. So, away you go. Away you go. Um, so, if you go to www.jadehelliwell.com, there's links on there for everything. I've got links to SoundCloud, you can listen to my EP, um, links to YouTube where you can watch uh, music videos I've done and home like videos. There's links to Twitter and Facebook. There's a gig list on there so you can see where I'm playing and hopefully come out to one of my gigs. Uh, there's a free mailing list you can sign up to and you'll get messages through about when the album is done, which will be next year, so uh, you'll be able to find out where you could get a copy of it. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we're going to leave you now to do a couple of songs for us. Yeah. All right, then. You. Yeah. What is your profession? I'm a potter. So. And you, Arcadian, what is your profession? Sculptor, sir. Sculptor. You? Blacksmith. If you're a local business on a tight budget, chances are you've never even considered a video advert. Video advertising to your local area is notoriously expensive. Juicy TV is new and radical. Why don't you get noticed and get business for only £10 per week? Visit the website for details or email us at juicebytv at gmail.com Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> Juicy TV, the place, the place your advert should be. be. See, old friend, I brought more soldiers than you did. Stuck in a rut, broken out of luck, 
flat on my face. I hate this place. I gotta heal myself, cause I ain't getting help from no one else. I'm drowning in this hell. No one can hear me yell for help. Keep telling myself things will soon be better. Keep telling myself it won't be this way forever. of myself with a smile upon my face help me turn it into reality want somebody save me another day another dollar ain't that what they say if they live like me for just one day they'll be on the knees starting to pray I'm holding out and praying my luck will change Hoping something good will come my way I can't live like this another day Keep telling myself Things will soon be better Yeah Keep telling myself Won't be this way forever upon my face help me turn it into reality want somebody save me I'm tired of sitting with my head in my hands I'm tired fly Someone help me, God give me a break, got a vision of myself with a smile upon my Got a vision of myself with a smile upon my face. Help me turn it into reality. Want somebody save me? Save me? Save me? All right, now we're going to talk about skinny living, but I'm going to ask John to tell you about them because I don't know anything about them. <laughs> I listened to one song on YouTube and instantly thought, I need to talk more to these guys. But John, give me some background. Uh, right, skinny living. Uh, first, they, I first met them when they came to play Acoustic Days. And uh, they came as a duo, as Will and Ryan. So Will, Will Booth and Ryan Johnston. And Will Booth does his own music and, and Ryan started off skinny living um so they came and they just they just wowed everybody straight away i can see why they're just and uh, fab. They, they're just again really passionate about everything they do um but the harmonies vocal harmonies that work together so real, really well that's what hooked and, uh, me and will bull's an amazing guitar player yeah just just brilliant it is they are fab Mm. And I just I can't wait till I get to meet them properly. <laughs> <laughs> Proper nice chaps as well. Are they? Thoroughly nice chaps. Oh, thoroughly decent gentlemen. Wonderful. You'll like his voice as well. He's from Ireland. <gasps> That's it. That's it. I think I might be throwing myself on the floor. <laughs> 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 I can't wait. This is Storybook. 
Yeah. Thanks, John. Thanks for your time. That's all right. Thank you. Cheers. Two days used to seem so far away. Now a year passes by in the blink of an eye. And old age is slowly creeping up on me. Responsibilities making time move faster. I know I will be gone one day. But you'll have a picture and a storybook in your mind of me. So smile. Yeah, I will be gone one day. But you'll have a picture and a storybook in your mind of me. So smile. We lay between the pine trees beside the fire on a summer's night. Unknowingly making memories that keep us warm when our hearts are bright. And when I'm on my way out, please take some comfort in knowing You've got the thoughts of the good old days They're there to keep you going Yeah, I will be gone one day But you'll have a picture and a storybook In your mind of me So smile Yeah, I will be gone one day But you'll have a picture and a storybook In your mind of me So smile Never stop making memories Live life, don't just exist Never stop making memories Live life, don't just exist Cause every day can be a good old day Yeah, I will be gone one day But you'll have a picture and a storybook In your mind of me So smile yeah, I will be gone one day But you'll have a picture and a storybook in your mind Of me, so smile <laughs> We at The Local Music Mag are looking for bands and artists who want to get involved and sell their wares, basically. Come on the show, tell us what it is you do, tell us what you play, tell us why you're passionate about music and... Tell us where we can buy your stuff. That's what we want. We also want viewers' opinions. You as viewers, what do you want to see on the local music mag? What kinds of music do you want us to get involved with? Are you a musician that, and you want to know where to begin, really? Is there a how-to that you want music-wise that you've not been able to find on YouTube? Because genuinely, you can find everything there. Us included. So... Give us your feedback. Tell us what you want to see. Thanks for watching. And Jade is going to play us out. Would you stay here if I asked you to? Would you lay with me? Run your fingers through my hair and softly kiss my smile. Would you introduce me to your friends as the girl you hold? Tell your parents all about the time You swept me up my feet And how I made your life complete Would you dance with me with no music playing Just to see me smile
would you walk to the edges of the earth for me? Just to make me see how much I mean. Would you? Bringing you the best local music every day. Jewsbury TV. Mag.